Hello Sir Mark Justin Manota, I am Joel Tosiapar from bshm 2 a So with this video, I'm gonna explain and discuss about the four questions that you give in this subject, catering management. So the first question is differentiate on-premise catering and off-premise catering. So what is the difference between on-premise catering and off-premise catering? You may feel torn between choosing a venue that offers on-premise catering and seeking a caterer outside of your venue. An off-premise caterer prepares and serves no, food in the same venue as your wedding. An off-premise caterer uh, prepares food in the kitchen outside of the venue and transports the food to your wedding reception location. So many wedding venues do not allow off-premise catering so you'll want to consider the quality of the catering service that comes with your venue package before making any big decision. On-premise caterers offer many benefits. First, guests do not have to worry about food safety issues that could occur while the food is being transported because of all the dishes are prepared and stored in the venue kitchen. Off-premise uh, catering face the challenge of safely transporting food to the venue and they must make sure not to forget any of the important details such as special equipment or garnishes. With an on-site caterer, you can relax knowing that the catering director and employees know the venue kitchen inside and out. They have experience preparing delicious food at the venue and they understand the flow of the kitchen and space. They know how to handle challenges and it's much easier for them to adjust to, to last minute changes because they're prepared no, no, they are prepared so with an on-premises caterer you can expect things to run smoothly and on time choosing a venue that offers catering services will also save you the stress of searching for available caterers who meet your needs so that is the difference between on-premises and off-premises so the second question is off-premise caterers are categorized into three so the party food caterers hot bucket caterers and full service caterers different shade each one what is the off-premises cat premise catering is serving food at a location away from the caterers food production facility okay one example of a food production facility is a prince Pre-standing commissary, which is a kitchen facility used exclusively for the preparation of foods to be served at the other locations. So, oh, for example, uh, other examples of production facilities include, but are not limited to hotel, restaurant, and club kitchens. In in most cases, there is no existing kitchen uh, facility at the location where the food is served. So, caterers provide single event food service but not all caterers are created equal they generally fall into one of three categories no so the party food caterers party food uh it is a supply only the food for an event they drop off cold foods and leave any last minute preparation plus service and clean up to other hot buffet caterers hot buffet caterers is provide hot foods that are delivered from their coming uh, commissaries in insulated con containers they sometimes provide serving personnel at an additional charge so the full service caterers uh, uh, not only provide food but frequently cook it into order uh, into order on site they also <coughs> they also provide service personnel at the event plus all the necessary food related equipment uh, china glassware, flatware, cutleries, tables and chairs, tents and so forth, they can arrange for other services no? like decor and music as well. In short, a full service caterer can plan and execute an entire event, not just the food for it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so differentiate, no? differentiate social catering and corporate catering, also known as a business catering. So what is the social event catering? Is that uh, are more intimate affairs and requires greater attention to detail but the caterer. The category encompasses special events such as birthday parties, retirement celebration, grand openings, housewarming parties, and bridal and baby shower. No, so business catering is 
uh, means a business, social, or home catering service providing food and incidental services for a social affair, uh, event, or for a private dwelling which does not engage in the sale of food or beverage to individually play paying patrons. So the last question is, food service industry is divided into three general classification. That's right. So the commercial segment, non-commercial segment, and military segment. So define and differentiate each one. So the, the commercial segment of a party means such a party's uh, commercialization, services, business, no, including selling solutions, communications, consulting, and uh, the, the medication, yes, adherence. <clears throat> The commercial segment provides a full range of insured specialty products including dental, vision, and other, uh, other supplemental products. The commercial segment uh, makes up 80% of food service industry. Commercial uh, food service operations include, uh, include restaurant, catering, and uh, baquettes, uh, bouquet, bouquet, no? bouquet yeah. retail, stadiums, airlines, and cruise ships. So, the non-commercial segment represents 20% of the food service industry. This segment uh, prepares food in support of some other establishments' main functions or purpose. <clears throat> Categories in the segment include schools, universities, the military head, healthcare, business and industry, and clubs. So, the catering segments is, uh, is executed in, a in many diverse ways within each of the three segments. The first commercial segment traditionally considered that the four profit operations include the independent caterer, the restaurant caterer, and uh, the, the home base, no? the home base caterer. In addition, hotel or motel and private club catering operations are also found in this category. So that is a catering segments. The non-commercial uh, segment or the, the uh, or the not for profit operations consist of the following types of catering activities business industry accounts college and university catering healthcare facilities uh, recreational uh, recreational food service catering school catering school organizations and transportation food service catering so the military segment no well the military segment uh, encompasses all catering activities involved in uh, association uh, with the, the armed forces and or diplomatic events so that was no. Uh, the, the, it is, it encompasses all catering activities involved in association. So I uh, I think that's all. I hope um, uh, I hope there's uh, uh, lessons and the lessons that I have discussed. I hope there's an ideas and knowledge na makuha. So I think that's all. Thank you very much for listening about this uh, video recording and good luck, sir. And give us everyone to those who are listening to this discussion. Thank you.